Every day, we go in and out of doors. Most of the time, we don't even notice. We just go in and out. Today, you pass 11 doors as you came in that have been doors of hope to so many of our clients. You just heard 11 people tell you the difference that Goochland Free Clinic and Family Services has made in their lives. And you saw on the screens the statistics, which are the impact that we've made over the last 10 years. Their stories and those numbers represent our ability to open the doors to hope. Uh, Liz introduced me, I'm Sally Graham. I've had the honor of being the executive uh, director of the organization for the past 17 years. Um, so that's about all I can do off the top of my head, and I'm looking for my script. Adair, do you have my script? This is my grocery list. So um, why don't you just go ahead and enjoy your lunch, and I'll be back. I think I left it at work. I'll be back in a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> no gas. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't know. Well, thanks anyway. You're welcome. I'll figure something out. Put your helmet. <laughs> okay, Bye. good luck. Oh. Hey Sally, what's wrong? Can I help you? Donna, I, I, I've got to get to work to find my script. I, I, we ran out of gas. And I've got to get back to all these people waiting for me and I don't know what to do. I, well, you can take my horse. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. A horse? Uh, oh, okay, I can do that. I, yeah. yeah. Sure. Wow. Okay. Okay. Donna, thank you so much. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Oh my gosh. Oh, so Holly, I mean, after everything you all have done for me, it's my pleasure anytime. I will return her. Okay. Donna, thank you. you oh my will. gosh. You're a <laughs> lifesaver. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, very good. Let's go. Sorry, we've been too busy handing out food to clients. We served over 180 families this week already. Really? Oh my gosh, wow. Thanks anyway, sir, to bother you. What's going on? I have to get to the clothes closet. Need a ride? Perfect, Not thank fun. you. Let's go. Really busy, but I'm looking for my script. You aren't kidding. We really are busy. 
and I haven't seen your script. We're so busy around here helping our clients with this month's credits and sorting some wonderful donations. Yeah, okay. I'll find it. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Richardson's office. My gosh, look at the church. She is busy. Hi, Sally. Oh, hey, Nellie. How are you doing? Oh, Thank I'm you good. so much for my beautiful tea. Oh, that's what we're here for. So much. See you later. Hey, Lisa, excuse me. I'm looking for my script. Can you find anything here? Yeah, you're right. Do you need a ride? I do need a ride. That would be great. I'll just sit in the back. Sally. Hey Earl. What you doing here? I'm looking for my script. Your script? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sally, I'm sorry, I don't have time right now to help you. I'm trying to fix this lady's ramp so it's safe for her to get out of her house. That's more important. Thanks, Earl. Have a good okay. day. Okay, bye bye. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey Sally, what's going on? I need a ride and I need it quick. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Put the pedal to the metal. Let's go. program. Thanks for your patience. I really appreciate it. Um, I should have called Uber. It would have been a lot easier. <laughs> so again, I want to welcome you to our Building Bridges of Hope uh, lunch. And uh, as Liz said, we're celebrating 10 years of service as Goochland Free Clinic and Family Services, and we're celebrating the completion of our capital campaign. So this is a really happy day, and we are so happy to have you with us. Thank you. So you saw on the video how hard it is to get from place to place, from location to location to access our programs. So how did we get in this situation? Well, 10 years ago, the boards of two local nonprofits got together and decided to do what was right for this community and for our clients. And they merged Goochland Fellowship and Family Services with the Free Clinic of Goochland to become Goochland Free Clinic and Family Services. The mission was, and still is, to provide access to healthcare and basic human services for those in need of assistance. 
And over the past 10 years, we've developed a menu of 11 programs, which you saw at the beginning of, the, um, of this program, around that mission and in response to need, filling service gaps for our neighbors in crisis. We've developed a safety net, and I'm going to say a bedrock. Was that the right word? I like that. For those who don't qualify for government programs or fall between the regulatory cracks. When we merged, none of our facilities were big enough to house all of those programs. So again, as you saw in the video, we deliver our, our programs out of four different locations, and they're spread over about two miles, so it's really not walkable. But from the beginning, our vision included having the capacity to deliver those programs with dignity, safety, and privacy, and to have the ability to grow in response to need. Our dream was, and still is, to have a one-stop shop, to have all of our programs under one roof to improve access for our clients. And dreams do come true. Our dream has come true. So I want to thank all of you who shared our vision and supported our capital campaign. You've made that building that you saw in the video, which is even further along than in the video, because um, every day they do amazing work on that, on that building. Um, the building, the renovation of the old office, which was the house, the brick house that sort of sat up on a hill, into emergency housing and the endowment possible. You made that possible, and I want to say again, thank you. We cannot thank you enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you've driven through Goochland, you might have seen that building, that construction site. It's pretty hard to miss. If you haven't seen it, consider this your invitation to join us at an open house, probably at the beginning of February, and we'll be putting more information about that out. We will have a community open house so everybody can see what that building's, uh, what, it's, what it looks like, and how we're going to function in that building. And our new building is an important part of our um, vision, but a building is just a building. What's really important is what happens inside that building. And that building will change the way we do business. For the past 10 years, our staff has been really creative in functioning out of our, our, the spaces that we're in with the space constraints that they have. And again, I hope you sort of noticed that in the video. Um, when you look at the statistics, I was just blown away by the fact that our food pantry has distributed almost 2 million pounds of food over the last 10 years. That's phenomenal. You, know, you pick up a grocery bag and multiply that however many times, I'm not a mathematician, but that's a lot of food. And our clinic has provided care in more than 55,000 visits. It's just, it really is amazing and truly a tribute to our staff who's been so flexible and patient and looking at our future and waiting. In our new space, we'll be able to deliver care in ways that align with our core values of safety, dignity, compassion, and quality. We're so excited that we're going to be able to walk a client down the hall who maybe came in for dental or food, and we've realized that they need something else, and most of our clients use more than one of our services. Instead of saying, here's a phone number, call make an appointment to talk to the domestic violence uh, counselor will be able to say, let me walk you down the hall and introduce you to Emily. I think she can help you with your problem. And that is um, called program integration. And again, that's one of the goals for this project. We'll have the capacity to add or expand programs and also be able to grow our community partnerships. But every person matters to us at Goochland Free Clinic and Family Services. Their dignity matters, their safety and security matter, and their access to our services matters. And that's why our clients are as excited as we are about this new building. They dream of being registered in a private office, not in a cubicle where everybody can hear their story. They dream of being weighed and having their blood pressure taken in a designated lab, not in a public hallway. They dream of entering through a private door to get domestic violence services, not through a crowded waiting room. And they dream of being able to wait inside out of the cold, not outside in the weather. Most of all, they also dream of being able to get everything they need under the same roof. 
where they don't have to have a horse, a bike, a wagon, a truck, or even a car to get everything that they need. We're looking to a year of lots of changes, but our vision for the Goochland community and our work has not changed. Our vision is to ensure that people have enough food to eat, that they have a safe place to live, that children and adults have clothes to wear to school and work, that everyone has access to quality health care, and that individuals are pain-free and have healthy smiles. So when you leave today and you walk by those doors, I want you to pay attention to what's on those doors, and I want you to appreciate what you have made possible. Thank you.